Greetings, sultans and sultanas. It's time for another Ottoman culture class. We know how much you like the real-life stories of our viziers, but today we wanted to talk to you about something mouth-watering. The most popular desserts in the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman desserts are known for including lots of sherbet, and many people in modern Turkey still love them. Let's take a look. First off, let's whet our appetites with goulash. This dessert is a must-have for Ramadan dinners, tracing all the way back to the 14th century. It's considered to be an early form of baklava, another popular dessert. Goulash is made of thin starch sheets layered with crushed nuts. It's soaked in milk sweetened with rose water and sometimes garnished with bright pomegranate. Doesn't it look incredible? Next up, let's try some lokma. This easy-to-make pastry originated in Mesopotamia and has been popular for hundreds of years. It seems simple, a deep-fried dough bowl soaked in sherbet, but it is very tasty. To this day, it's still easily found in Turkey, Greece, and many other countries in the Middle East. Maybe you can try this delicious dessert yourself. Finally, our main dessert takes the stage. Can you guess what it is? Why, it's baklava, of course! The origins of baklava are still disputed, but there's no doubt that the kitchens of the Ottoman Empire popularized this dessert. It's made from phyllo pastry filled with chopped nuts and sweetened with sherbet. Baklava has many variations, both in Turkey and other countries in the same area. That's all from us this week. We're heading to grab some desserts from a pastry chef to satisfy our cravings. While we're out, feel free to share your opinions and expectations for the next class in the comments section. Until next time, hoşçakalın!